Hi, I'm Larry Troca, and today I'm going to talk about the things that ruin a horse for working cattle. Now, I'm not talking about a horse that's been introduced to cattle the right way and, and has a lot of experience working a cow. I'm talking about a horse's initial introduction to working cattle. You know, the first several times he comes in contact with cattle when he's, you know, being ridden. Now, on your screen, you'll see a video of me introducing a green horse to cattle. And uh, you may want to click the uh, closed caption link in the, uh, or the, the button in the video player so you can read uh, what I'm saying as I talk. Um, but anyway, with that out of the way, let's get started. I sometimes have people uh, who put a horse in training with me, which has been ruined for working a cow. You know, basically these horses dread working a cow and, you know, they try to avoid it. You know, they'll turn their head away from the cow to avoid even looking at it. You know, some will even try to avoid a cow by running off or running away. Um, and they do this because they've had a bad experience involving cattle. They might have been placed in a scary situation with cattle or maybe the rider unknowingly punished the horse while working uh, cattle, uh, or maybe he overworked the horse while, uh, you know, have him working him on a cow. Uh, basically, something really unpleasant has happened to the horse, and he associates it with, with cattle. Now, after riding a horse several sessions on a cow, it's pretty easy to recognize that there's a problem. Uh, you know, and I'll explain to the, the owner, uh, their horse dreads cattle due to something done previously. You know, I'll ask the owner, you know, what kind of exposure has the horse had with cattle? And, you know, the reply is usually, well, nothing bad, Larry. You know, I've only exposed him to things which are good for a horse. And I'll say, well, like what? And uh, <laughs> after I say, like what, there's really only one of two answers that they're going to respond with. Number one is, I took my horse to a branding. <laughs> and um, the other one is, I took my horse to a rant sorting or a team penning. And after hearing that, you know, I pretty much know what has caused the problem. And for the sake of uh, clarity, I'll expand on each of these things so you can, you know, understand, get a good understanding of, of why this is a bad thing to do with a horse that hasn't been accustomed to working cattle. So let's talk about taking your horse to a branding first. Now, keep in mind, if a horse really doesn't know much about a cow, uh, you know, this is a bad experience for him. You know, he gets there, you unload him from the trailer, uh, there's calves bawling, there's mother cows screaming for their calves, uh, the calves are being branded so the horse can smell the burning hair, uh, bull calves are being castrated so the horse can smell blood, there's people swinging ropes. If these people aren't trained professional cowboys, there's usually a bunch of yelling and screaming <laughs> going on uh, during the branding. And, you know, if you're a horse that isn't accustomed to that, I mean, it's, you know, it's scary. It's, it's, it worries the horse. And he's never experienced anything like that except in a situation with cattle. So he just associates this bad stuff happening with cattle. And you know, he in his mind, he's thinking, man, I want to avoid these things at, at all cost, you know. So that's one thing. So the other answer I'm liable to get, and more often than not, it's going to be, well, I just took my horse to a ranch sorting or a team penning. Now, let me make it clear here. That's a timed event. And most people go there, you know, they want to they wanna look respectable. So they're trying to get their horse to, you know, trot into the herd or lope to the herd. Well, the horse, if he doesn't know cattle, he doesn't know if those cattle are going to be friendly or aggressive or try to get him. You know, he doesn't know. So he hesitates going to that herd. And, of course, the owner starts, you know, kicking him or, or, or spanking him. And here again, the horse associates the cattle with punishment. And... Um, 
you know, here you don't want him to associate cattle with punishment. Uh, and you can't blame him for not wanting to go in there. I mean, <laughs> you wouldn't either if you didn't know what it was. And, you know, probably the worst thing is in both rant sorting and team pinning, you know, you've got to, you've got to, you know, guard the hole or block the hole or block the gate from unwanted cattle. And, you know, basically that involves a cow running, you know, straight at the horse. And the rider is jumping his horse or trying to jump his horse back and forth to block the cow. Well, the horse can't read the cow's body language. He doesn't know where the, where the cow's going to go. And nine times out of 10, the rider doesn't either. So, you know, that results in the rider, you know, jerking the horse this way, jerking the horse that way, spurring him, trying to get him to jump over here and jump over there. And, you know, here again, the that's to the horse. That's punishment. You know, that'll unnerve you know any horse. So, you know, you gotta you gotta really use your head. It's okay to to uh, take your your horse to a rant sorting, even if he doesn't know cattle. But you need to take your time. Maybe just walk through it. You know, you let the horse understand what's going on. You know, don't try to make him do something that that he's not prepared for, you know. Um, you know, we used to have, you know, rant sorting here at the Slide and Jay Ranch. And, I mean, we'd see all, <laughs> we'd see all kinds of wrecks uh, from people trying to sort on a horse that, that uh, didn't know what to do or a horse that was higher than a kite. You know, people, they just wanted to, stand around and talk to their friends they wouldn't lope their horse down get that fresh off of him so we'd see horses you know uh go in there to sort go into to bucking or rearing or running off you know <laughs> yeah. and they could that could have been prevented if they would have just loped their horse down got the edge off of him you know i couldn't after a while i, I just couldn't take it anymore and we just quit <laughs> we just quit having those rant sortings um now uh, I want to talk to you about how to avoid ruining your horse from working a cow. Um, it's not, you know, it's not difficult to prevent it. Uh, you just got to use some common sense. You know, in a horse's state of mind, anything, in, anytime you introduce something new, you know, he's cautious about it. You know, he doesn't know what it's about, you know. And with a lot of horses, when they see a cow, they'll initially be afraid of the cow or are cautious about approaching the cow, um, especially a really timid horse. Now, there's some horses that are bold. You know, they're a dominating kind of horse. And those horses might just walk right on up to a cow. Um, so, you know, you need to determine, you know, when you're, when you're introducing your horse to a cow, you need to determine what kind of horse is he, you know. Um, and, and here again, the horse doesn't know if the cow is going to attack him or run away from him. And it's your job to give the horse confidence when he approaches the cow. So when you approach a cow, you should approach that cow from behind, from behind the cow. And the horse will feel much more confident walking to a cow's butt than he will walking straight at a cow while the cow's facing him. You know, that's just intimidating to a lot of horses. So, you know, you approach the cow from behind and you want to make sure the cow is afraid enough of a horse to move away from the horse. If you try to introduce your horse to cattle that won't move away from the horse, well, now that makes the horse think, Jesus, this cow's not afraid of me. Um, and so if you have a timid horse, he's going to think, man, uh, you know, I don't know what to do here. The cow, the, the cow is, is standing right there in front of me and he's not afraid. Maybe I should be afraid. Now on the, on the bold dominating kind of horse, he might pin his ears, reach out and bite the cow. And boy, you sure don't want that. You want, you don't want, you don't want to create a horse that's pin eared and aggressive enough to want to bite a cow. You know, unless you've got a, a working ranch horse when that might be necessary sometimes. But if you're having any kind of a contest horse, you darn sure don't want, you know, pin-eared or biting or anything like that. Um, you know, the other thing you want to make sure you don't, you don't do is, is punish your horse on a cow or when he's looking at a cow. 
um, if if he needs to be corrected, if the horse is acting up, you know, or not cooperating with what you're asking him to do, you know, turn him away from the cow, ride him away from the cow, then go ahead and correct him, you know, get him given to the bit or given to your hands or responding to your legs, whatever you got to do. And then once you've made that correction, then go back to the cow. But don't have him looking at the cow while you're punishing him. Otherwise, he's going to think, He's going to associate the cow with punishment. And initially, you sure don't want that. Um, I remember, you know, and I should say some horses are, are so afraid of a cow that they won't approach it. And if you've got that kind of a horse, you really need to take your time. Um, I, sh- I remember years ago, I started a, a filly uh, by the name of Doc and Missy. Uh, <laughs> I mean she was so afraid of a cow that that she'd think about jumping out of the arena to get away from the cow i mean i would put one cow in the arena and and this was like a 150 foot arena the cow would be way at the other end 150 foot away and doc and missy and i would be down at at the far end and she's scared to death of it even though it was that far away and she'd run to the fence and yeah she'd think about jumping the fence and uh it took me a couple months just to get her where I could, you know, approach a cow, you know, at all. And, um, uh, and little by little, it took months, but little by little, she got better and better and better. And, uh, as a three-year-old, she ended up winning the snaffle bit futurity. And a couple of years after that, she ended up winning the nation, uh, uh, NCHA cutting competition. So, Yeah really good horse just because your horse is afraid of cattle doesn't mean it's not going to make a good cow horse you know you just got to do what needs to be done to build that horse's confidence um and you know i should also say don't overwork your horse on a cow i know it's fun to work a cow uh and you know you want to get something done but sometimes less is more uh especially at the beginning when you're just introducing your horse to a cow you know, get a little something done, you know, get him to follow, you know, get him to follow a cow, maybe move out to the side a little bit, um, stop short, you know, don't get out ahead of the cow where he's got a cow coming at him, uh, head first, you know, that'll unnerve him, you know, kind of stay behind the cow a little bit, even when you're moving out to the side. And then once his confidence gets built up, well, then, then you can get even with the cow or maybe even get ahead of the cow some and no harm done. Um, but if you overwork him, you know, there's a good chance you're just going to cause him to dread it and he'll, he'll just want to quit. If this is the type of training that you're interested in, you know, go to my website and uh, check out the training videos and online training courses that I have there. Um, you know, I think you might find something you like. All righty. Take care.